got wet. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to hear me. I got snow in my eyeball. Snow what? everywhere. You know, you know what you gotta do? You gotta put your hair in front of you so that it gets your hair in. Snow in the arena. This is why we usually, usually close the door. Oh. oh, Molly's having a big drink. Woo! So our water trough is doing great with the new heater. I drank from that too. You drank from it too? Outside. They're horses, they can handle it. I think we should be inside. I mean, inside looks like outside. We're gonna be working down here today. I swear, February showed up and so did winter. Old man winter. But All right. It's, it is gonna be an early spring. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Uh, we've been having like a lot of troubles with the new camera, other than the fact that Sam dropped it and broke it. Um, we've been having trouble getting like it to focus properly. And when we take screenshots and thumbnails and stuff, we've been having trouble as well. But also, I wanted to tell you guys something. So uh, this sweet girl has been scared of Sam again. So Sam said, like you guys saw when we first bought her, how? Uh oh. Ah, oh, this one doesn't want to. Um, you guys saw how she was really scared when we would go into her stall, especially of Sam. When he would walk, she'd go right to the back, run straight to the back, and be terrified. Well, she got to love him and stop doing that. But now, suddenly, she's doing it again, and he's really, like, sad about it. Is he moving too fast? I don't know. She was good for a long time. But I think sometimes what happens is, for sure, she's been abused. Her old owner said it. We didn't buy her from an abused home, but she was abused in the past. Here. It's mine. Mine. Don't eat it. Mine. Don't eat it. <laughs> she picks it up. Um, it's obvious. Like, even her old owner told me. she's had. She, we bought her from a really great place, though. Anyways. Those are all our horses. Those are good ones. Well, apparently this medicine is spectacular. They all love it. They all love it. Right, Penny Pickle? She likes it more than her grain. Um, she's been pooping in her bucket as well. Because she poops in the front of her stall and eats back there. Right. So, we're officially going to put these girls on a diet soon. They're all a bit chubby. Especially Willow. Like, it's crazy how if you're short, you can eat the same amount of food or even less. Less food. And you're chubbier. Like, I would hate to be short, you guys. My heart goes out to all you guys that are short. You can hardly eat anything. Poor Willow. But they definitely need to be on a diet. Willow's gonna do a lot of line driving and a lot of driving this summer. We're, we're looking for a cart. It's gonna happen, even though we plan to do a lot of shows well, I'm too. I'm gonna put Gabby on it first because I'm not gonna die. Yeah, well, we'll do it safe. There are lots of ways to do it safe. Which is, we don't get on until she's used to the thing. Yeah. yeah, Willow, you wanna drive her on a cart? I don't know. She might bowl over a jump here like the other mini did. So today, today is a riding day at the other barn. We're supposed to go see our boys. The last time the girls saw them were three days ago. The last time I saw them was four days ago. And that's sad for me. Like I feel sick in my stomach when I don't see them often enough. And also, I just always feel that feeling like I need to make sure that they are okay and that they know that we haven't left them. And also, uh, the reason that we ride three days a week and we've ridden three days a week all winter, which I'm super proud of. To keep our horses fit. To keep our horses fit so we don't have to go into like spring and just be working, working, working really hard to get them fit. So we've been managed to keep them fit. Not our girls so much, but we've been working other things with our girls and I'm proud of that too. Ruby be looking cute with her full hair, but she's going for a haircut. She's starting to get... Do you like that her hair that cut, that size, that color? No, I like when she shaved. I like it like that. But we're going to be getting into warm weather soon, so she needs to get cut. Just trimmed, even. Anyway, good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today is Monday, so we're not going to go to the barn. All the schools were canceled today because of a blizzard, and I'm not... Like, if it slows down, we could go, maybe. Who knows? We'll see what happens, but we decided we're going to catch up on our course with our girls. While we wait for Penny to eat, let's do birthdays. You guys, we got a lot of birthdays coming up. We have all, like all the grand finale of birthdays. Oh, ooh, my birthday is in October. Yeah, yours is done. All right, so Gabby, no, Gabby's got it straight. So in March is Brooklyn, April is Storm and Gabby. You forgot Molly. Oh, March is Brooklyn and Molly. 
What day is Brooklyn's? Second. April is Storm and Gabby. May is Toby and Ruby and Chino. And then we're done. We don't know when Finn is. We don't know where Finn. October. No, I know. I'm just mean for the next couple of months. Finn. Finn is an early spring baby. Yeah. So in spring we celebrate. So I think we should put him in May somewhere. Wait. Did they say that Finn was born in June? I thought it was like an early, like close to February baby. I don't know. I can make a horse cake. You know what? We know the breeder, or we know where he was born. We should phone and find out when Finney's birthday is, because we've yeah, never known he Finney's birthday. Baby. He was a surprise baby. We've had Penny for four months now, you guys. Four months. You guys know how it takes a good year for horses to like really change and be who they are. Yeah, I can't wait. Like, what? This summer is gonna be life changing for all of us. It's gonna be life changing. Like, we're gonna do a lot of stuff. And we're gonna do a lot of shows, but you better bet we're gonna do a lot of trails now that I finally don't have to walk. Hopefully, hopefully I don't have to walk. Every single day we have to make a salad for the bearded dragon. We make this, it lasts like about four days. And we have to make food for the crickets to feed the bearded dragon. Isn't that crazy? You have to feed the feed that you're gonna feed to your bearded dragon and you have to feed the bearded dragon, if that makes sense. So recently I saw a question in the comments that was, um, how often do you guys do school? We do school every single day. How many hours do you do school? We do until school we until we finish. We don't get any choices. We finish it and that's it. Like whereas in school you have a set time and if you don't finish it, you don't finish it. But at our house, we have to finish it. Also, the question was, I saw them. They don't do school during the day when they're riding or they don't do school when blah, blah, blah. We but they see us. The truth is, when did they see us? like in the vlog, in the vlog, people have been wondering about like how we're able to just get up and leave and do whatever we want, and then we're missing school. But in reality, we don't video the whole day. yeah, we don't video the whole in day. But in reality, um, we do everything we have to do in a day, regardless of what else we do. So if we are riding in the morning, then we do school in the afternoon. If we are riding all day or at the barn all day because of the farrier, then we do school in the evening, in the early evening. And also the rules are, yeah, there are no rules about when you have to do school. You don't have to do school in the morning. Like it's, it's very un scheduled you get to make it set your schedule which is why it's so beneficial for us also where we live the rules governing um homeschool are are so variable there are so many different ways to homeschool you don't even have to open a single book for the whole time you homeschool your kids if you don't want to it's called unschooling you can teach your kids through life you can teach your kids through books you can teach your kids just by reading and talking you can teach can your kids by writing and yeah, my kids are like let's do that we do more of a traditional writing and reading and math and the girls plan to go to college so they plan to, so we do a bit more of a traditional homeschooling and Gabby's gonna do uh, mainstream high school. It's online. Uh, possibly she might change her mind by the summer, but right now she's planning to do an online mainstream high school. So it'll be just like regular high school that you guys do, but she'll be doing it online. So we do traditional work. But yeah, that's, that's the whole story of the homeschool. All right, we are ready for dragon time. We are ready for dragon time. She's getting ready for her breakfast. 
So he's just making up her bed. So here's the crazy news about the dragon. Here's the crazy news about the dragon, you guys. So yesterday Sam and I were out shopping getting all the stuff we needed to make pizzas. It was during her feed time. So basically you can't feed a cold dragon. So you have to let them heat up for two hours after you turn the lights on in the morning. You turn the lights on in the morning, you turn the lights off at night. They go to bed and then you turn the lights on in the morning and then you feed them two hours later. And Sophie was here and she fed her and I missed her feeding, you guys. Was I was like so that. sad. I was seriously so sad. It, I just missed it. It's like feeding a baby. Like, I just, I don't know. That's how amazing our bearded dragon has been. Like, it's not just a reptile she's seriously like this cute little part of our family and we all get together and watch her have her feed yeah I hold her while Sophie gets the cage ready for her feed she's going through uh, another shed can you guys tell her arms and her legs are shedding are starting to shed yeah oh and her mouth is shedding yeah and her mouth was shedding I don't know if you guys can see oh wait a minute she's like I don't show them her mouth has been shedding all around her mouth. So when her first shed with us was a full body shed, like her head and her body, and now her her lips are shedding, and now her legs and all of her legs are turning white and they're getting ready to shed. And then probably her tail next. Say hi. Say hi to the day fam. People don't like you. Why don't they like you? Some people, most people do, but some people are like, I do not like the lizard thing. I do not like the bearded dragon. But I don't know how you can like any, I don't know how you can like horses and not like all animals. She's so cute. our channel for any length of time then you then you may remember try treats try treats you guys remember when we used to get these all the time we used to subscribe to try treats so essentially we used to order these boxes and have treats delivered straight to our house it was such a amazing experience for us and we got it again we're going to show you really quickly what is in our box if you guys don't know, it's a subscription box that sends you treats from all around the world. What I like about it is I like being able to teach the girls about different countries. We've had treats from countries that my kids didn't even know about before. So it, feel, so it helps with our homeschool. And we've done lots of videos in the past where we've like shared the treats. We've had some really good treats in them and some really bad ones. I like the bad ones the best because then we can like trick our friends into eating them. That's so fun. It's always super exciting when we get try treats in our house. This month, the country that we're getting is... Oh, this is pretty. That's so pretty. <gasps> Taiwan. Welcome to Taiwan, you guys. What is this? Just, so they said that they have new countries now. So my plan with getting try treats again is that I'm gonna start taking these boxes to not only lessons, but I want to start getting them again for horse shows. You guys know we always go shopping and buy a whole bunch of stuff. It takes a lot of food to keep the girls energized throughout the whole horse show. And I try and keep our trainers energized. I try and keep like all the kids that are in our group energized. So we always need a lot of food. And having the treats is gonna be awesome. In every box, you get um, these little cards. It has like a recipe on the back. We can make Chinese moon cakes. Like that would be so fun. Even my older kids love these boxes. I actually was hoping this box would come on the weekend on Friday so that we could open it with my grandkids. But anyway, we're gonna look inside our box, show you guys what we got really quick, and then we'll eat something. Okay. Um, see, Gabby already learned something. Chai now means bon appetit. Okay. We also get a list of what's in the box and it tells us, um, like I want this mixed fruit candy, hoff flakes. Okay, so this is... Okay, so this looks like chicken. No, it doesn't look like chicken. It looks like prepared squid. This is squid! I love it! Gabby and I are like, ooh, we'll eat that. Um, so there's a Rice crispy. So that's weird. It's like a Rice crispy. Look at, so this is the premium box and you get all this stuff. Rice like crackers. that is a lot of Rice. stuff. <gasps> Gabby got the things that I like. Every box we've ever got, I feel like, has high chews in them. So typically what we do, like, I want what that. Oh, wait a minute. Is this candy? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought this was chocolate cake and I picked it and I think it's seaweed. 
just before October 14th, 2021. Mom. Seaweed laver. <laughs> what is this? Seaweed layer. Oh, laver, laver, laver. Why does it say royal family on it? Like you could, what the heck? I'm gonna open these. So these are Taiwan barbecue flavor mala, mala barbecue flavor chips. Yeah, that's probably. All right, so. What are these? Everyone pick two things. Crackers. Everybody pick two things. I'm gonna show you what's in here. And we're gonna save some of this so we can share with our friends. I wanna try this, but I'm scared. It's a gummy. How can you go wrong with a gummy? You chocolate? can't read what flavor it is. All right, I choose this because it looks like chocolate. I, I choose this. Gummy, I wanna try the seaweed too. Actually, this, mm, I'm smushing it. It looks good though. Okay. All right, so we're gonna really quick, quickly show you guys what we're gonna eat. Wouldn't you love it if you were at a horse show and someone whipped out some prepared squid for you? I've never had squid. You try it. Oh, I am gonna try it. Keep it a cool and dry place, refrigerate after opening. Wait, let's pick three things. No, we'll try some of these later. All right, so Gabby's gonna try the seaweed. So let me read what it says. Okay, I'm gonna try this. This is by Honey Bee. It is a delicious snack made from roasted seaweed, seasoned and roasted to perfection. Crunchy in texture and savory in taste. Oh, it's like skin. It's a favorite in Asia. It's like skin. Let's all try it. Like then we'll try Molly's it. like, let me try it. Just let me try it. All right. I, Ooh. I should oh. take the thing. It's like paper. It's like skin. All right, it's like skin. Thing. Just wait. <laughs> it's like fish. Okay, when will you ever, ever get a chance to try food from Taiwan? Ooh. It's so powerful. So strong. The taste is so strong. Molly likes it. Um, no, I don't. Is this one of your items? Yeah, that's one. my then item. We should have three because oh, that's like one bite. Uh, yeah, it's okay. It literally smells like it tastes like fish. It literally tastes like fish, but it's really good. Okay, we're opening this. There's a lot of fish in our box. It tastes like... Okay, we're opening this. Oh. It's the worst thing on earth. <laughs> Why are you still eating it? I love it. I think Dad's gonna love it. It's cool. Okay, let's open I've literally never tasted anything like it. It tastes like a fish meal. It's good. It tastes like... Oh my gosh, it's good. Okay, let's All right. open this. All right, so Sophie's gonna have this uh, Rice Krispie treat. It's a sachima. What? Almost threw up when it's I a flower cake. It Traditional flower cake snack. Lie down. They like it in East yeah. Asia. It's chewy and sweet. It's kind of good. It's a traditional Asian snack. <laughs> it's got a good flavor. Same time, it's not. It's not. Now I can see why the people in Taiwan are skinny. <laughs> I can't get the seaweed taste out of my mouth. It tastes like sponge. <laughs> it tastes sweet. <laughs> Is there no sugar in any of it? <laughs> It tastes sweet, but it tastes like just like the bread. It tastes like a, a sponge. Gross. It literally tastes like a sponge. It's not that bad though. Well, now we have the high chews and it's great really flavor. Or else my jaw will pop. Mm. It hurts. I've had that before. These are just like, you can get these kind of candies all over the world, I feel like. Garbage. It's just a fruity, chewy candy. Those are good to have on hand. All right, so this is disappointingly not chocolate. This is a mochi. And it's uh, individually wrapped pieces of uh, non-frozen mochi. It's a Japanese rice cake. What? Is, what does she look like? It looks like. Oh. Looks like Sophie's. Uh, it looks like Sophie's fidget toys. Oh. It's a cake. Mmm. It is weird. Oh, it's the oh. weirdest thing I've ever eaten in my life. Let me try yours. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh! What the heck? Okay, let's open the chip. <laughs> I 
Oh, it's a date thing. That's mine's not a date. It's like a date thing. It's kind of like a date. <laughs> I don't like dates though. But it's nothing like a date. Okay. <laughs> mm, this one's not as bad as mine was. Okay, nothing can go wrong with chips. <laughs> Mine. Molly likes every single treat we've tried so far. This is actually pretty good. Can we try one of these too? Okay, so we're gonna do one more thing and then we're gonna save the rest of the box to share with friends. Our friends, we love sharing or try treats with friends because it's fun to see their excitement. Where I choose? And their expressions. It's fun to see their expressions when they eat things like this. Like, that was seriously insane. So Sophie says that you cannot ruin barbecue chips. Mala barbecue flavors. Mala barbecue. It's spicy. Oh, I see fire, so I knew it was spicy. What oh, these are spicy? made. These are made by Lay's. Uh, it's by. <coughs> How spicy is it? Is it really spicy? Mala. Even our dogs are in love with this. Well, I don't know because like you guys don't eat spicy things. <laughs> A little bit of a kicker? But just enough to make your face hot. Not <laughs> so, actually, like, Sophie's like, let's open it. it, come on, let's open it. I had no idea that we were gonna get seaweed. Like these are would be good for a party. Like I'd love to <laughs> I can't. Are you okay? It's I I could just feel my face hot though. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that does not taste like chips! Okay, so any of, any of you guys in Taiwan, come to Canada, you guys. Come to Canada. You are going to love the food here. Oh, man. Is that man. the only kind of chips they have? <laughs> I don't know. Or do they have fish chips? All right, that is all we're going to eat today. So we're going to wait till Sam gets home, and then we'll try the squid with him. We saved all, like, the sweeter stuff to try it later. Is this supposed to be we'll sweet? open these up. Oh, God. <coughs> Yeah, it hits you after a while. It does hit you. We're going to try these things. This looks like a little blueberry candy. We'll try the rest of this later. So what did you think of the tri-treats, Gabby? Uh, the chips aren't that bad. Yeah, what did you think of the tri-treats? Good. The chips aren't the best. The most amazing part that I love about tri-treats is that it's an experience, not just a snack. That's why I want to buy them, because it's, it's literally like buying an experience. Oh, I can smell it from here! Gabby's making me try the squid. I wanted to save it for Sam to come home, but she had to try it. I don't know, it smells no, like I a dog know. treat. <laughs> I don't like smell dog anything. treat. It just has more fishy. Stop. All right, let's see. <laughs> She's doing that because Daisy's here. Don't let it touch my dog. I don't think she likes it. If the dog won't eat it, then, oh, there she goes. All right, Gabby, try it. Try it, Gabby, try it. Try it, Gabby, try it. <laughs> it tastes like nothing. <laughs> oh god, give me a piece. It has a slight, like, weird taste, but other than that... Give me a piece of Daisy. It has a slight like, fishy taste. Oh, it has a fishy smell. Ugh. You're trying it, Sophie. No. Oh, it's so strong. But then it doesn't taste strong. Mm. Get it away. Get <laughs> it away. It's good. It's got sugar on it. They have sugar in Taiwan. It tastes like sugar, Sophie. Yeah, awesome, <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat fish. I didn't I, try it. I didn't, I didn't even get it in her mouth. You have to try it. Or, no. No. It's, it's actually not bad. It's, it's like, like burning right here. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of crazy stuff. Taiwan has a lot of interesting food. Chew it. You have to chew it. The chewing is where it gets good. There's chew sugar it. in it. Gummy and I love this. No, I hate it. Oh, <laughs> I like the squid. It's, it's not bad. I hate it. It's still snowing, friends. Yeah. It's coming down. All the girls are getting ready. Penny's in there protecting her butt, making sure. Uh oh. They've been kind of fighting today. Don't push her. Can I? No. No. <laughs> no pushing. Let's go. Gabby always has so much energy, she always wants to wrestle people. I'm pushing y'all down the hill. Actually, there's a lot of snow today. Take Penny's bucket up to the house and clean it. We all thought it was bad when Finn was a 
wall pooper, but bucket pooping is way worse. All right, so we're down at the barn to work on our course with the girlies. Hello, girlie. You nailed it already? Okay, so we're on one last thing we have to do. <laughs> you did nail it. <laughs> you did not nail it. <laughs> All right, so Gabby nailed it. What we're doing is there's one last thing in the last lesson. Spin go, it's called the spin go. Yeah, so there's like four things in that lesson. The, la the things that we've been working on the last three weeks are the S pattern, the swoosh, the boomerang, and this is the spin go. This is the last thing that we're supposed to do, and then we're moving on to like a, a even more fun thing that will actually like show that we can actually do stuff, more stuff, bigger stuff, better stuff. early it's a storm day yeah. okay yeah the girls are all like yeah school's done but it's not done okay so I think Penny actually gets this one like it's been a few days since we've been working on this stuff and she seems to have like forgotten some of it good that was so good Still, because Gracie started the runner. All right, so seriously, she doesn't like it. I can tell by the pinned ear. She hasn't pinned her ears hardly at all in weeks and weeks. Do they learn this one so fast though? Like that's not bad. Let me see you one more time. I need more treats. Oh my gosh. I told them to fill their pockets. I you filled my pockets for me. You need bigger pockets. I finished my pocket already. I don't you need to. You go. You pass. All right, I don't know which way to do it. <laughs> that's so good. Very confused. Where are you? Kyle, stop it. She's got it. I think Penny's got it too. She's just concerned. She's just like, I don't really like this game. She knows all the rest of them and she might just not be in the mood for it. Okay, that is it for today's video. And I wanted to tell you guys that if you want to try your own box of Try Treats, you can use our code Day by Day Vlogs 15 for 15% 15 off your first box. 15% off your first box day by day vlogs 15 and i'll put it in the comments below see you guys tomorrow don't you know that you're beautiful